this December. Two songs. One journey And does he return? Introducing The Christmas Specials So guys, I am done with the charity shops now But I realised I forgot to record an intro at the start um, So yeah, this is just a quick introduction I'm going to be going around a few charity shops today I've thrown, thrown a little bit of footage in as well um, with basically there's like a Christmassy market thing on so I just took a little bit of time to throw in a little bit of footage from that as well so that'll be sort of sprinkled throughout the video um, and I'm actually going to go home and do a whole video right now um, basically as I said I'm done with charity shops now I've got a few items which was good so I'll do a, a haul at the end of the video as well <music>
Hi guys, so I'm now back from the charity shops. Um, I actually got a really good deal on this stuff from a charity shop uh, where I know the manager basically. So I didn't pay the prices that are stickered up. Um, I actually paid £24 for a lot. I'll go through individual prices I paid as well. Um, so first off we've got this uh, Guinness Signs 1974. You can see we've got some wear on here to the outer packaging. Don't know whether that's some water damage or something like that. As you can see, it was stickered up at £15. I actually got that for £5. And uh, as you can see in here, it's got all these different prints. That one's got a little bit of a um, fold on it there, but I'll be able to get that out, no trouble. Um, and then, yeah, it's got basically all these different prints in here. I couldn't find any on eBay. Um, I wasn't going to be a player at 15 quid, so I basically just told him that. And uh, he knocked it down for me. And essentially, I reckon this is probably about 20 quid, something like that. Um, I can't see it being worth loads more than that. But I will do a bit more research to, to see if maybe I could get a bit more than the £20. Um, but yeah, quite a cool looking item, as you can see. We've got all these different prints in here. It is a shame that it's not in that good condition. But still, I think someone will like this. I think maybe uh, some, like a Guinness collector or something uh, will, will go for this, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. It's not Guinness World Records, is it? It's actually... Is it Guinness World Records or is it Guinness the... Um, obviously the stout. I'm not sure. Maybe it's... I'm guessing it's Guinness the actual uh, stout, not Guinness World Records. But yeah, anyway. Couldn't find anything on that. But yeah, as I say, hoping for about 20 quid. Paid 5 quid on that. Um, next, we've got something really cool. So this was stickered up at 50 quid. They had it in there for ages. They knocked it down to 30 quid. I did have a look at look at it at 30 quid, but I wasn't going to be a player at 30 quid. But anyway, I said I said to him today, look, I can't really do 30 quid. I know you've had this in there for a while. Could you do any less? And he came back with a tenner, and I was more than happy with that. As you can see, it's brand new and sealed. And uh, there's one sold for 19.99 plus postage that is pre-owned, that is in used condition. And then there's some that are brand new on for absolutely silly money. And um, I think there's one on for like 140 quid or something. I don't think that's achievable, honestly. Just going off solds, I really don't. So I might come in at anywhere, maybe, I don't know, maybe 50 to 75 quid, something like that. I wasn't actually aware it was worth that much when I was picking it up. I actually thought this was worth about 40 quid, something like that. But yeah, I was quite surprised when uh, I had a look and maybe maybe thinking uh, that I could get a little bit more than the 40 quid. So yeah, but I just don't think 140, 150 like a couple of people have got them on at. Um, is really achievable. I honestly think that um, that's shooting a little bit too high and we're probably going to be waiting a long time for the sale. So yeah, 10 quid on that, so that was a really good price. Um, next, we've got this Silvac now. Um, he marked this down from £5 to £3 for me. Um, it's a little squirrel one. I've had the uh, smaller version of this. It's uh, The number is 4241, and obviously you can see Silvac on there. Um, I've seen this, it's kind of, own, it's like, you know, 13, 14 quid, not a lot. Um, but I'm going to put it on, obviously, and uh, get a bit of money out of it. Um, but yeah, I was kind of like that on whether I should take that or not. And then another item that I did actually pay for, 4 quid for this, he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't mark this down. But I just thought, you know what, since I'm picking up the other stuff... I'll throw this in. I wouldn't normally have paid four quid. I would have been more like two quid on this. Um, but I thought I'd throw that in. It's a little um, brass fly that's like kind of like a trinket box or something like that. Um, now, I've seen one of these go for £10 plus postage. So that's why I'm going to go on that. Um, and yeah, it's quite a nice looking little item. A little bit unusual. It's not really, really unusual, but it's a little bit unusual. So yeah, quite like that. I'd say going for £10 plus postage on that. And then I paid £2 for this. Um, and this is like a flower of the month, uh, Royal Albert flower of the month, October cup and saucer. I've had these before, not necessarily October, but I think I've had a July one and I might have had like a, uh, I don't know, Decem December, I think it was. Yeah, I might have had December. Uh, some of them go for better money than this one. This one seems to only be like a £10 plus postage item. But considering I paid two quid, I'm more than happy with that. Just a nice standard bread and butter uh, item there. But yeah, some of the other ones are more worth looking out for. Some of them go for like 15 to 20, opposed to this one just going for sort of, as I say, £10 plus postage. But yeah, so that's my little haul. Um, it does pay... Oh, the lighting's gone a bit funny there. It does pay off, um, obviously, if you know your managers in the charity shops or you can get friendly with people because you can get some good deals. They just essentially want rid of the stuff if they've had it 
for quite a while and that's what happened today so uh, yeah really happy with that nice little haul there um, I've not been getting as much from the chart shots recently they've been kind of uh, a little bit barren really so um, I was I was glad to get a few items today. So I'll leave it there guys. Don't forget if you enjoyed the video Please do give it a thumbs up if you haven't already then please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one So I'll see you very soon guys